the mighty little Belmont is back. So we're gonna start this episode from this area that I missed. I don't even know how I did, but I did. In a night time, an outlaw, great axe. Just a great axe. But I'm pretty sure I can even use. Because I don't have any single point for axes, which is kind of bad. Yeah, it's a great axe. It looks like it does a lot of damage, man. Yeah. Can I get here? Oh shit, yes I can. Wait a moment. Oh hell yeah, man. Another item. Okay, shock. Stones. <laughs> and that's set for now. Okay, coming back to talk to this NPC that we found here a while ago. He was asking me for uh, a uh, give back of Earth, something that I didn't have before. And now I can give it to him, so let's see what happened. It is the one! The soil is all I have now. Now, a question for you, good sir. Are you looking for peace? Peace is not in my nature, but yes, I'm looking for it. Looking for peace. That is great. Great. Great indeed. Now you have found it. Mm, I don't think I have, but uh, whatever. Oh yes. It must be a wonderful thing to seek peace and then find it. I myself dream of finding peace. Here, have this. Sunken Kai Shield! Hey, thanks man. Let's give a look to that. Is that... Oh, it's not 100% physical, but whatever. But lightning defense, holy shit, man. <laughs> Let's give a look to that thing. I bet it's gonna be really heavy, huh? It looks pretty neat, the design. Very, uh... I don't know. Oh, it, it waits the same that my two choose. Alright, that's good. So what else you got to say? Oi, traveler! Hold on to that peace within you. Hold on. Hold on to that peace within you. Yep, that's what he's going to say. Thanks for the gift, buddy. Um, so yeah, finally we're back exactly to the point where I left on the last episode. Um, wow, still a very beautiful, shiny night to have a horrible, salty curse. Okay, I didn't show the description of this shield, the uh, Sunset Kite Shield. So it's right here, a wooden kite shield paint with a sunset motif. So you can pause if you want to read that, okay? Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna go back to my own shield because I like it more. Um, so the NPC that was here, he left, okay? And give me this amazing... <laughs> Woo! Really fun skill. My favorite skill in the whole game so far. I, I wanted, I really wanted a double jump, but if you give me this, man, trust me, I'm fucking happy with it. Uh, there's nothing I'm more, I love more than midair dashes. Oh my god, who is this Sombra again? Yeah, the guy that gave me the other skill with the torches. Hey, buddy. You use the gift. I gave you to explore, conquer, and vanquish. This character's pretty cool looking, man. It just reminds me so much of Target from from uh, Dark Souls 2. You know, the uh, the ruler, um, the commander, or the leader of the uh, of the Blade of the Blue government. You know. I'm pleased to have been able to make an impact on your journey. Moonlight has always been my friend. Moonlight? You mean the sore moonlight? Oh, you mean the real moonlight, okay. <laughs> now I call you friend as well. <gasps> oh wow, this person gave me all his stuff. Thanks, buddy. May moonlight shroud you in this life. May moonlight shroud you in this life. That's awesome, man. You too, brother. Thanks, man. He looks uh, like a very noble person. Uh, let's read the, in the inscription first. He doesn't seem like something I would like. Ooh. 
Wait a moment. <laughs> Wait a moment. I take it back. Kinda looks cool. How heavy this thing is? Not too heavy, man. I don't know. I kind of like it a little bit. <laughs> it looks cool. It makes me go faster. I, I can rock it for a little bit. It kind of does look like a light armor, you know? Stella Soprano. So the other thing I'm, I'm guessing is just a helmet. <laughs> nah, I don't want to use helmets. Let me see something. Let me see if I can use some fashion here. Oh. That looks different, that glove. I like it. Yeah, but my ninja stuff, assassin gauntlet, move, moves really faster. Ah, oh, no, not the skirt. I, will, I don't like skirts. I'm gonna put that Stella armor for just a little bit, because I think it looks cool. Look at this guy here. I wanna try and make my jump. Woo! Bye, buddy. <laughs> now, we're gonna go back to that area I know I haven't explored yet. I like it, the armor, man. I mean, I don't know. It's not perfect. When I first saw it, I thought it looked like crumb, the chest, but it's more like clothes with a little bit piece of metal in it, but it still looks good. I think I have Belmont can wear that, you know? Just for a little bit. Oh, she's gone. No, my shadow love, she's gone. Oh, I hope she, I don't know. I hope I meet her again in a better circumstances. All right, so we should move on from this point. See what the hell's going on down there. I know that way. I cannot go that way yet because he's blocked by one of those red gates, beaming gates. Huh? Oh man, I'm. I tell you something, I'm gonna be spamming this jump like like insane, you know. Oh man, I hope I can make it this jump. Oh yes I can. Hey girlies. Fucking cons. By the way, I got class class four on cleric and now I can do that powerful divine wrath spell. I like it because it's very something that a Belmont would do, you know, with their holy power. So that's one of the main reasons why I'm going for the cleric path because of the, you know, the holy abilities. So my Simon is pretty much a mixture of, you know, cleric, barbarian, hunter. Mm. And it's a cool armor, but I like more this one. This one. Under Idol, hell yes, sir. Thank you. I can use one of those. I have like three or four of them, it's just good. There's nothing over here, huh? Alright, little Simon Belmont, let's go and hunt the night. Mm. Fuck off! Shit, it really doesn't do too much damage. I am a little bit disappointed with that spell. Because it should do more damage than that, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I guess I'm using it just mo mostly for, you know, for role playing purposes. So. Role playing purposes. There's nothing up here, it seems. I know this jumps. Yeah, I just love that dash mid air, man. It's so Strider, you, you know. Everybody needs to play Strider Remake so they can know what I'm talking about. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. My whip is doing. Ah, shit. It's doing good damage with the, uh. With the lightning power. Fuck you, cunt. At least these guys are not. They hit really hard if you get caught into that dark attack of them. But they stagger, you know, easily, so they're, they, they're really actually easy enemy to deal with. A Chrysold, another one. I don't know if I read, yeah, the description should be right here. 
a silver crab full of soul. So this might give you like I don't know, a thousand of souls, I think. There's nothing in this world. What is down here? Oh, one of those that you got to use the torch to flip, you know. But you know what? I don't know. Uh this might be a way to come back from somewhere and if I jump I got a feeling I'm gonna get myself killed so I'm not gonna do that yet till I figure out what the hell is that or how you use, how you use it you know Die monster Die monster Die monster No no you belong to this world Yeah 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 I wonder if, I don't think it's anything up there. <sighs> oh no. Go away. Help! Now! Die. Red shard, nice. What is this? A uh, bloodwood crossbow. Is this the same crossbow I already have? The uh... no, not that one. Yeah, I already have it on plus plus uh, four. So yeah, it's not a unique, you know, finding. Boom on power! Man, I just I adore that. Uh oh, now ah, this jump. Here. Can I make it from over here? I'm guessing that yes. You're not a fucking mimic, are you? That could be a good troll. Wow, rusted. What the hell? Got a lot of... Lot of some armor there, some armor. But let's see. Let's see the plate first. Ugh, this looks like a fatty thing. A rotted bodysuit with an uncanny resemblance to a potato. Do I wanna wear that? No, I don't wanna wear that. I just I, I hate things like that, man. <sighs> Whatever, man. Waste of potential to give you a real great-looking armor, you know. Okay, what is my? Uh, uh, what is my? Uh, okay. I just hate ugly-looking outfits, man. To me, they're always gonna be, uh, especially when they're ridiculous, uh, ridiculous like that. To me, they're always gonna be a great waste of potential for an extra good-looking armor. You know, I just want something that makes me look like a badass dark hunter. You know, that's not what I want. Ah, oh, great peril, nice. Can use that. So I also got the level 2 of Divine Blessed Weapon once you reach, you know, you reach uh, class 4 on Cleric. So this is supposed to be a stronger version of the Holy Enchantment. So I don't know if it's really that worth it, but I don't know. Hopefully I will find more uh, class 4 spells, you know, that I can... I'm really interested into that one that is like a like a sword um, somewhere around there yeah guardian blade that one class 5 summon a divine blade wielded by an ethereal agent of light that sounds really fucking cool man that sounds like something I would love to spend oh man look at this we're in the woods now huh. Okay. Another torch. Please don't fall. What is this item? Oh, shroud charm. What is this? Adds arcane damage to your attacks. Yes. Oh man. But I got the lightning right now, so I'm gonna put it for my katana. Let's see? Yeah, for my blade, you know, because I really love the aligning effect. It seems to do damage to most enemies. 
and I can tell that some of these spell casting enemies they yeah uh, they can be resistant to arcane so I don't know if it's wise to use it here right now. Oh shit. Man, this is one of those hard paths. I think I'm gonna make a quit editing and then I'm back. By the gods, I made that fucking jump. Alright, let's see what it says. Case of salt. Okay. Let's see what it is. Oh. This is this another healing area? Okay, so there's a door in here. Right. In a chest. Not a mimic. A dumb mimic. Ooh. Okay. Black tail coat. Fine silk coat. Silk coat? What? Okay, I don't think I like it too much, so... Okay, okay, we're pretty much open a path here, right? Shortcut. I don't have to do that stupid jump again. She cost me like... Three or four tries out of camera. This place. Interesting. Those head players? Go behead. Oh shit. <laughs> hey, wait a moment. This is like. Wow. <laughs> this is like those Castlevania enemies, man. Those impale. Impale guys that you see jumping at you. Uh, I think. You see them in several Castlevanias, but one that I remember is. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. You need to die before the other one jumps on me, come on. Nice. This is something. I just don't want to aggro the other one. I need two of those guys. Being all DPS on us. What's this item? Oh, Lord's Order. Alright. Oh, shit. Fight yeah. with a shield. That's a way to do it with a shield. I kind of had to move like a ninja, you know? Shit, I just wanna add him. Come on, buddy. Why well, you jump that way, you piece of shit? Come over here. I'm right here. Okay. No, I didn't mean to do that. I don't have my dagger on. Whatever. You still heal. Ha ha ha. Hey buddy, you coming or what? You coming or what? You coming or what? Mm. Shit, just you, not your body. Okay. okay. Die, monster! Ah, shit. Didn't raise the shield fast enough. Look at that background. Looks very creepy, man. Oh. That way up, huh? Hmm. This is a 
Watch it going. Nice. <sighs> I guess I'm gonna... Let me see, this jump gets too hard. I'm gonna keep that up. Uh, a try off camera. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do it off camera, man. Or it's gonna take me the whole video recording this. Hi. Okay, now that we got that shit out of the way, let's see what is in this chest. Shard tomb, a material. Look at this. An area that you have to climb up. God damn it. Let's talk to the NPC below first, see what he has to say. It looks like a mage. Or... What's up, man? Greetings, traveler! Looks like you found a sanctuary of the keepers of fire and sky. We worship the sky, for it lies the ethereal weave of fire, most powerful of all magics. Hmm. I might change to this color, man. You found our, our citadel. Will you set aside the gods you know whole and worship the sky? Mm, not yet, buddy. Not yet. Just not yet. Let's see. Okay, so I got this already. I guess I'm gonna take an oath on this, then regret later, because I wanna get that trophy. The Keepers of the Fire and Sky. Keepers of Fire and Sky is the name of the trophy that you get. Sent one of these guys here for traveling in the set. Now, will you say something different now? Let's talk, buddy. Well, let's see what you have for sale. Hmm, same generic shit, okay. Spells. Underside, magic. I am a mage, and a keeper of fire and sky, I can tell, buddy. Mage like me have worshipped the sky, realm of divine fire for centuries. Fire and sky are intertwined. Fire is like ethereal fabric. Tangle in the sky. Without sky, there is no fire. With sky, there is always fire. Hmm. Drawing from the ethereal fabric is this essence of magic. Sounds like a real good government, I like. I spent nearly all my years in Citadel and living. I was summoned to Caden as emissary of the Citadel. And as you know, Caden lies across the Imria Sea. On the boat, in that black sea, the sky was different. I seen the rage of the sky, but this was a sky without fire. The fabric was corrupt. We were shipwrecked, I believe. I alone survived. 
The sky here is stifle, but the ethereal fabric is sufficient. Okay. Farewell. Fare thee well. I really don't know why I didn't. I saw this item before, but I didn't grab it. I, I was trying to understand why, but here is. I came back and grabbed it. Done. Frozen reliquaries. Alright. Coming back to the sacred sanctuary checkpoint. The Belmont must move on into the eternal night. Got a shivering feeling about this place. This guy players? Maybe they are. God damn it, a boss. I don't even know if I had the time for a boss. I can tell. Oh shit. The course is joie, the cruel. Ugh. Oh man. Oh shit. What are you doing? Oh shit, no! What the? Oh. Damn it, that hurt. Nope. Nope. I'm doing good damage this guy. Oh. Sorry. Die, Belmont. Is that all you got, buddy? Uh oh. Uh oh. Damn it. Of course. No, Simon. I don't know how much damage you were doing. I can keep the dab, but... Let me try my other divine weapon. Oh, shit. Okay. Really? You're gonna turn around, right? Man, I'm getting way too OP for these bosses. Bye, monster! You don't belong this night with the mighty Belmont. The Pitchwood Trophy. Mighty Simon, little Simon God. And we got the item. So. Material item. Of course, the jaw, the cruel ashes. The little Belmont will hunt the night yet again. Die, monster!